finally time I'm trying Coralina. Um, the brand new color launched I think last week. Um, I just got it the other day and have not tried it on yet. So I'm gonna be applying this. It's, so I'm pretty sure it's called Coralina. Um, coral, obviously because of the color, but Lena is um, the girl who I guess invented the color. Sometimes they do these contests where like distributors like me can, um, I don't I don't even know actually how it works. I should probably look into it, but they're able to like do this contest or something um, and make their own color. So anyways, her name is Lena. So I think that's where the name come from comes from. And sometimes I'm like, what are these names? But whatever, this one's not. This one's not too bad. And I'm so excited about this color. Like I have been just waiting to wear this, but I just have not bothered um, to do much lately or get ready or whatever. So it's kind of like the story of this summer for me. Um, especially since I got my, like my eyelash, my lash lift and my um, permanent mascara or semi-permanent mascara. I just am like, well, that's good enough. So I'm gonna put this on. It is still brand new, have not opened it yet. So I'm gonna, wear it today and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be wearing it for like a week probably. I love it. Well, I think I'm gonna love it. So th th the thing I always do to clean my lips, cause I always have like the our lip balm on in the morning or all day when I'm not wearing, anytime I'm not wearing lip scents, I'm wearing lip balm. So, um, which is so good if you've never tried it, it's surprisingly amazing. Like I know it doesn't sound like anything could be like lip balm could really be that good, but it actually is that good. So whenever I put on my lip scents, I always clean my lips and I use a Q-tip. You can use like a towel or a rag or whatever. Um, but I just, I get one side wet and I just kind of clean my lips. And the other reason I like this, the other reason I always like to do this um, is because um, I always have dead skin right here and to tell you the truth, I used to like to bite it off, but that's harder to do since I got my Botox up here. I can't bite it as well. So, I know, first world problems. Anyway, so I use the wet side, clean it off, and that usually gets my, um, like any foundation that I had on my lips. And then I use the dry side and get it nice and dry. And I always scrub extra right here so I get any of that dead skin off because if you've ever worn lip scents or even just lipstick or anything on your lips, you know that, I guess I'll have a piece. Um, if you have like a dead piece of skin on your lips, this is not gonna look smooth and pretty. It's gonna look like, oh, you got something hanging off your lip right there. So I'm gonna dry it again because I was kind of talking. So, well, now I'm out of dry Q-tips, so whatever, okay. Coralina, here it comes. Um, I'm gonna shake it up. I'm not try I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to do this in the in the phone or in my little mirror. Both are kind of tricky when you're trying to hold a hundred things. So <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see which I end up doing. But crack that open. I don't want it to spill. So I got a lot of things in my hands right now, but. When you're applying your lip scents, make sure you always wipe off the tip. Like there's a lot of product there that's going to be like clumpy and thick. So always wipe off the applicator so you can get like a smooth, thin application. Because you're going to do three, um, you're going to end up doing three coats. So you want them to be thin coats. And then stretch your lips so you don't get any lines and here we go. Okay, so I do two swipes on each lip so I get the inside on my lip and the outside on my lip. And get a little more. I still smell that dead skin there. Oh well. You know, this is like super entertaining, right? Watching me do my lipstick, but in the end you get to see this color, which I'm already loving. Kind of hard to do when you're trying to talk and not touch your lips, but it's worth it in the end. Here we go. 
So this is my second coat. Okay, one more coat. Okay, make sure that's dry, and then we're gonna put on the gloss. This is called the Senna Slurp when you're trying not to sit. Oops, wrong thing. Or trying not to drool, and you're trying to let your stuff dry. It's called the Senna Slurp. Slurp. I am almost out of this gloss, so what that means is, obviously I need a new one, but hold on. Soon I'll be taking out my stopper of this so I can actually get all the way to the bottom and not waste any of my product. So, that is Coralina. Let me look in my mirror. I think that's so pretty. So it is a frost color, I think, or shimmer. I'll double check on that. But so it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, but I love it. I love that coral color. It's so summery and um, just kind of like tropical feeling and pretty. Like I just, I really like it. Like I said before, I'm gonna be wearing this color for, I don't know, probably the rest of the summer. Who knows? Okay, so that's my other question, speaking of me messing with my hair. Um, who has used those like shampoos that deposit color in your hair? Like I think there's one called Viral. I've seen one called Overtone. Um, and so what you, you basically, there's just like a regular shampoo. It's not necessarily a dye, but when you use it, it deposits color in your lighter hair. So, um, you can see like during the summer, I, we swim a lot and we're outside. So my color kind of starts out bright, like up at the top, just kind of brighter. And then it just fades so much. So I'm wondering if I used that, if it would kind of put color back into those those pink pieces that have gone like like this one's like turning where you can just see like almost the bleach it's like not, has no color left in it so um anyways if you've used any of those let me know what like brand it was or if it worked um because i'd like to be able to go longer between um salon visits especially during the summer um just it's like with swimming it's just pulling out all my color so I, it only lasts a couple weeks before I need to get it done again. So if you have used any of that and it worked, will you tell me what brand it was? Because I'm thinking about getting some. So that's all. Here's Coralina. And maybe I'll post a picture of it later if I get around to it. Um, otherwise, you just saw it here. So there we go. I do have some of these. Um, you can either go to my website at, let's see, it's called lifeproofflipsbymccall.com, um, and you can order things there. If, if there is something that's not listed on that website that you're like, she said she had it, or, you know, I'm wondering if she has this, then just message me or comment below or just whatever, um, because a lot of times I have things that aren't listed on my website, but with inventory coming in and out all the time, it's just hard to keep track of everything and whatever. So you can either look on my website and order things from there, lifeproofflipsbymccall.com, or just message me with whatever you want. Remember, colors are 25 and glosses are 20. The, our lip balm that I was talking about earlier, that's 22. $20 also, not $22. So that's all. Hope you guys are having a really fun weekend.